Last time on Turtle Crossing, Christopher and I finally got a chance to sail in a sporty little 26-footer on Lake Ontario. We took the boat out, we practiced some drills, and we also learned some of the basics of sailing. This week, we really get into the hard stuff and learn some man-overboard drills that could help in serious situations on the water. These are really important for us going forward. We also take our sail test. wished we had so that what is it you need to review buoys um, looks like i'm making a, a turn i am going to be heading up to a close reach i feel like that's a broad reach uh, hard in the shade so okay. that way. yeah so chris i think has to work on buoys today before like just the different types of buoys and i need to review knots because I don't know how to do some of the knots and yeah it's supposed to be very little wind today uh, from what I just looked at on windfinder.ca we've got right now it's nine knots coming from the east supposed to diminish down to five knots by this afternoon so it's very little wind and um, and some possibility of rain which, I mean, we need the rain, but as long as it's not thunderstorming, I don't care, I'll sail in the rain, no problem. We left the harbor under motor and got ready to practice some man overboard drills. Never, ever, ever wrap lines around your wrist. And Guillaume caught me. <laughs> We 
saved Bob. Welcome back, Bob. Extremely proud of myself. We headed back into the harbor so that we could take our sail test. That's Bob. <laughs> And of course, I finished my test first within, I think, uh, just over an hour. So I had to wait for the boys to get done with theirs. And I'm happy to say we all passed. Woo! It's our last day. Last day? Last day. Also, you liked it? It's also the first day of our sailing adventures sort of time. Yeah. Yeah, that was going on there. for four days I'm not gonna live on a boat with you guys <laughs> we were just talking about how we should all Eric gets his boat Chris and I get our boat and when you're ready to go we'll all just uh, create a armada. an armada on our way down to the Bahamas what would be a good way after taking a course like this to continue to get experience between like let's say you wanted to set sail in two years how would you be able to get a good amount of experience so that you could comfortably cruise? The best, quickest, and cheapest is if you know somebody with a boat, of course, to get on uh, their boat. I would uh, see if you can sign up um, as a crew on the boats that are racing. People are always looking for crew. Can you find that, like, online? Uh, I would go to a yacht club, your local yacht club, or try a few talk to somebody there um, and see if there's anybody. Sometimes they have a bulletin board okay. uh, that says, you know, we're looking Do you need for... to be a member of the Yacht Club? I believe in a, some club you'd be a social member if you're going back uh, every time, but somebody can invite you. Okay. Um, there is also the opportunity, once you get more experience, not after this course, but a little bit further down, another course is to charter a boat. Right. So that's what we did. Um, we had our own boat, but a smaller boat, and then we chartered up in uh, North Channel um, into Georgian Bay. Oh, nice. So we chartered for a week. What's, what time of year did you do that? End of September. No, sorry, end of August, beginning of September. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, because around then the weather kind of turns. Yeah, in sorry, it was just <laughs> the beginning of uh, September. But still pretty wavy, wouldn't it be? Or? Um, it wasn't. Not we got bad. lucky. So we did that two or three times. Um, we chartered down in the Virgin Islands uh, and chartered in the Grenadines out of um, St. Vincent down to Grenada. Did you find it pretty easy to charter? Like you had your own boat, so you were getting well, some I, sail time. Yeah, some sail time. Um, you have to demonstrate that you have the skills and the experience for them to give you half a million dollar boat. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's a, it's not the first step, but it's a great way also to explore those cruising areas and see um, what the life is like seven days on the water. So yeah. now you're cooking on the boat, you're managing the systems, you're managing fuel, you're doing some more navigation. Anchoring. Anchoring. Docking. So what we're learning here on this course, we do um, sailing, getting off the dock, safety procedures, some anchoring, mm -hmm. but anchoring on a tiny little on a boat that's set up as a yeah. mostly a day sail. How did we do? You did wonderfully. Good. I have not had any other students so prepared and enthusiastic and ready. You read the book. You probably read the book three times from what I saw. You did read a lot of that book. <laughs> um, and you watched the videos and everything else. Yeah. So you did well. Um, 
we could therefore spend a lot more time on the water getting the practical and getting our hands into it. Not doing much sailing today. Yes. Today is a very light wind, but you got to learn how to sail in light winds too. What would you recommend we work on after this? I think it's just, it's getting the muscle memory, it's getting the judgment and just time on the water. So you can have the tiller in your hand and or the wheel and not think about, think it. about what you're doing. Um, look at a sail and have an idea and start getting those instincts on keeping yourself uh, safe. Watching out for each other. Does somebody, somebody's head in the way of the boom? Winch technique Don't for... Don't wrap the... Uh, yeah. Uh, winch techniques for boats on a heavier load. Okay. And I would start um, doing the preparation work that you did for this course on the sailing for the intermediate. Okay. So get uh, information on cruising. So now we're going to be talking about diesel engines, uh, windless, uh, provisioning a boat for a week, preparing food on a boat, uh, what it takes to study to get into a harbor you've never been into. Yeah, charts, uh, more charts. Take the navigation course. Okay. So from just the basics of how do I move a boat and safely get it on and off the dock to how do I live on a boat? We were really, we were so excited about being able to take this course at the end of August. I think you kind of got a little bit of that vibe. I did. From, I could just, tell, I could see the enthusiasm. <laughs> Even just in my emails back and forth. So thank you so much because it's been absolutely perfect and really, really informative. So we feel a lot more, I, and I wanted Chris to enjoy it too because if he didn't have a good time, I was never going cruising. So I think the fact that he's been talking about tacking all week has, has been really good. So thank you. And... Yep. Uh, we're going to actually be talking to Guillaume and his wife uh, in a couple weeks and asking some more in-depth questions, which will be on our next video. So if you want to check that out when it goes up. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a wrap for the four days of sailing.